Buenas noches, señoras y señoritas. This is my first ever video journal from Ensenada, Mexico, and I'm so stoked to be in Mexico. I know you may hear lots of stories about evil ne'er-do-wells doing all sorts of unforsaken things down here. Don't listen to them. Mexico rocks. The people rock. It's totally fun. If you're in a, a bicycle, it's like, it's one of the coolest places to ride. If you're in a car, it's everywhere you go, it's like you're rally racing. It's just, uh, it's rad. It's totally cool. Any place where stop signs are a suggestion and not a rule, is a, it's a great place. Anyway, I've got my, uh, my first ever Mexican cold, which is very cool. I've never had a cold in Mexico before, so stoked on that. Um, I've already been to a hot springs the other night, which was totally cool. They actually do have lots of roads out here, it's just not a lot of them were paved, so I ended up being a rally race car driver with a, a friend's Subaru all-wheel drive, which was very cool, cruising to the hot springs way in the deep country. Um, first project is coming up for Pedaling for Peace. It's a project that's been going on for a while. A lot of the uh, groups and organizations, Wild Coast and uh, Art e Media, man, they have such a long name, I always forget it. Philanthropies, um, the city of Ensenada. Uh, I'm going to try to get more people involved, like Couch Surfing, Surf Rider Foundation in San Diego. I'll get the Surf Rider Foundation down here. I was at, uh, you got to love the dogs, right? Lots, lots of dogs out here. It's great. Um, I was at a school today, and I met with a teacher. It's a very progressive, cutting-edge school where they're using all recycled materials. and Very, very cool. So all those kids are going to be part of the program. We're going to have a big cleanup day where we're going to help save the lagoon. So as I was saying before I got totally sidetracked by the dogs, this lagoon has been uh, its one of the last lagoons in the city of Ensenada. Whenever the rainy season comes, it's uh, home to 140 plus species of birds, 17 of which are on the uh, endangered species list. And the landowners are trying to get the whole thing paved over and have condos put up there. It was protected land by the government, but the landowner sued, and as long as you have the right bribery money, you can get uh, all kinds of things happen down here. So. We're going to try to get the, the law to be concrete and make sure that nobody can pave this place over because it is beautiful. And it's the last lagoon in Ensenada. And there's, there's just no need. There's plenty of homes out there. There's plenty of condos. There's no need to continually destroy all this land. You have to set a precedent at some point. It's like, do you want to have more homes or do you want to have more beautiful spaces? If you get used to saving beautiful spaces, that becomes the norm. If you get used to paving them over and building homes, that becomes the norm. And then we only have ourselves to blame if we end up living in a world that has no more beautiful spaces. And I don't think anybody wants that. So we're going to do what we can to save this. Uh, there's legal battles going on, so donations would be great. As I get more information, I'll of course give it out to all you guys. This just came up. I'm just getting all the pieces put together. And I'm not at my full 100% with my uh, very young Mexican cold. So as I get better, I'll be working a lot harder on things. And uh, hopefully we'll have something really cool. And to the people in Southern California, if you'd like to come down and help out, it's one day. It's uh, the Lagoon Cleanup where we just try to make it as pristine as possible. And then the more of you that come from San Diego and Southern California, the more international we can make this thing, and that's always good to put pressure on the government. So, you know, sweet. Be stoked to have all you guys. I'm setting up places for you to stay. There's tons of places you can camp. It's totally cool. I'm going to have tour guides set up. Uh, tour guides, like people to help you around the city, you know, so you can have some fun, do some things. There's lots of surfing out here. Been hanging out with a super cool surfer, Nada. She'll be more than happy to take people out, show you what's going on. But uh, yeah, so great things coming. Big thanks to Izzy for uh, putting together a super cool video. 
for me the preview for the video. The big video is coming, and he's going to be helping me out with uh, all kinds of things, getting getting pedaling for peace off the ground so it can really do big things and getting other people riding their bikes out there for peace and doing projects all over and basically you know I'm an American ambassador I'm here to show the rest of the world that not everyone in America is uh, what you see on TV that there's people that are actually stoked for the environment and we're gonna help make a change in the world and uh, beyond that I can't really think of too much else to say I'm super tired. I'm slowly learning Spanish. I'm still too embarrassed to actually speak to the video camera. But I guess, okay, a little bit. Un poco. Muy cansado. <laughs> it means I'm sleepy. So I'm going to read a little bit. And then uh, go to bed soon. Oh, before, before I lose you guys, this book. Can you see it? I am. This is one of the best books. It's by Howard Falco. Let's keep it up there. If you're in Mexico or a Spanish-speaking country, it's been uh, it's under the title Yo Soy, which means I am. And uh, seriously, the gentleman that wrote this is nothing short of a genius. I've read plenty of self-help books. Always trying to become the, the better guy. I've read books on love to try, you know, two marriages, two subsequent divorces, trying to work on that. And this one book has really just blows my mind. It's like this guy was there when God created the brain and how it works with the soul and the body. And it's, this is an amazing book. I Am by Howard Falco. And beyond that, I, I really can't even speak to it because I'm just blown away by everything that I, I read in the pages. I think this will be a book that I read a couple times over. So, uh... All right, on that note, we're getting into long-winded territory, so, aloha.